Welcome to the dusty landscape of The Ballad of Cable Hog, a 1970 film that quietly weaves a tale of survival and unexpected redemption in the arid expanse of the American Southwest. Have you ever found a movie that resonates with you on a personal level, creating a lasting connection that goes beyond the screen? The Ballad of Cable Hog, directed by Sam Peckinpah, unfolds the story of Cable Hog, a prospector left for dead in the desert who discovers water, leading to an unexpected turn of fortune. As the plot unfolds, the film explores themes of human resilience, friendship, and the unpredictable nature of fate. Now, consider this. Do you have a cherished memory associated with this movie? Is there a particular scene or moment that has left an indelible mark on your cinematic journey? We're eager to hear about your personal experiences and connections with The Ballad of Cable Hog in the comments below. Before we dive into the random facts about this film, let's take a moment to reflect on the unique and often overlooked gems that enrich our cinematic experiences. What's your most cherished memory or personal experience related to The Ballad of Cable Hog? Share your stories and let's celebrate the power of film in connecting us across time and space. Now, let's uncover some intriguing tidbits about The Ballad of Cable Hawk. Did you know that the film's soundtrack, composed by Jerry Goldsmith, perfectly complements the vast landscapes depicted on screen? The music adds a layer of emotion to Cable's journey, enhancing the overall viewing experience. As we delve into the world of The Ballad of Cable Hawk, keep these questions in mind and share your thoughts and memories with us. Let's create a collective appreciation for this cinematic gem that continues to resonate with audiences. Your stories await in the comments below. The Ballad of Cable Hog, directed by Sam Peckinpah in 1970, unfolds a unique and compelling narrative set against the vast Arizona desert. The film centers on the titular character, Cable Hog, a prospector left for dead by his deceitful partners. Miraculously surviving, Hogg discovers a water hole in the parched wilderness and turns it into a profitable oasis. As Hogg's fortunes rise, he encounters an array of intriguing characters, including the spirited prostitute Hildy and the eccentric reverend Joshua Slow. The film weaves themes of survival, love, and the clash between progress and the untamed landscape. Noteworthy for its blend of genres, The Ballad of Cable Hog seamlessly fuses elements of Western, comedy, and drama. The movie's distinct style lies in its use of dry humor, picturesque cinematography capturing the vast desert landscapes, and a poignant musical score. Jason Robards delivers a memorable performance as Cable Hog, infusing the character with a mix of resilience and charm. The interactions between Hogg and the people drawn to his waterhole contribute to the film's richness, exploring the complexity of human connections. While not an immediate blockbuster, The Ballad of Cable Hogg has left an indelible mark on cinema, praised for its originality and subversion of traditional Western tropes. The film's enduring legacy is evident in its influence on subsequent filmmakers who have drawn inspiration from its unconventional storytelling and character dynamics. Its impact on popular culture resonates in the continued appreciation for films that challenge genre conventions and explore the human experience in unexpected ways. The Ballad of Cable Hog stands as a testament to Peckinpah's vision and storytelling prowess, etching its place in the cinematic landscape as a timeless and thought-provoking work of art. Amidst the arid expanse of Arizona, The Ballad of Cable Hog unfolds, a cinematic creation by Sam Peckinpah, birthed promptly after his acclaimed work on The Wild Bunch in 1969. Notably, Struther Martin and L.Q. Jones, integral to The Wild Bunch, reprise roles in Cable Hog, a testament to Peckinpah's continuity in casting. Interestingly, the lead role initially beckoned to James Stewart, who declined wary of its potential impact on his image. The narrative, however, found its anchor in Jason Robards, whose portrayal of Cable Hod resonates with resilience and charm, etching a lasting mark on the cinematic landscape. Behind the scenes, a tumultuous journey awaited the film. In August 1969, Warner Brothers, without Peckinpah's or producer Phil Feldman's awareness, screened a two-hour rough cut to distributors. Despite positive audience reactions in early 1970, the studio, perhaps apathetic to Peckinpah's talent, released the film in the spring with minimal promotion, earning the disdainful remark from Stella Stevens, Warner Brothers didn't release it, they flushed it. 
This behind-the-scenes turmoil, coupled with the film's thematic richness exploring survival, love, and the clash between progress and wilderness, solidifies The Ballad of Cable Hog as a unique and enduring work of art. Its influence, reflected in subsequent filmmakers' challenging genre norms, cements its place in cinema's evolution. Crafted against the backdrop of Arizona's desert, The Ballad of Cable Hog stands as a testament to Peckinpah's vision, a cinematic journey brimming with resilience, charm, and the untamed spirit of the human experience. Warren Oates, initially slated for the lead role, could have brought a different hue to The Ballad of Cable Hog. However, the role eventually fell into the capable hands of Jason Robards, leaving an indelible mark on the film's narrative. Interestingly, the movie witnessed its share of behind-the-scenes turbulence. Multiple crew members faced the axe during production, and a unique protocol emerged a fired crew member needed a bus ticket back to Los Angeles. Sam Peckinpah's terse question became the deciding factor. Do you have a bus ticket for them? Intriguingly, this film marked the swan song for Peter Whitney, concluding his cinematic journey. Beyond the camera, tumultuous decisions and unexpected departures shaped the movie's path. The initial plan to cast Warren Oates as the lead took a turn, leading to Jason Robard's resonant portrayal of Cable Hawk. Meanwhile, the firing of crew members underscored the challenges faced during its creation. As the last film featuring Peter Whitney, The Ballad of Cable Hog stands as a testament to the ever-evolving dynamics in filmmaking. The backstage drama and casting twists add layers to its narrative, showcasing a journey marked by resilience and unforeseen turns. This distinctive blend of on-screen and off-screen events encapsulates the essence of a 1970 cinematic gem that defies expectations and stands as a testament to the unpredictable nature of the movie industry. In the tumultuous creation of this film, Sam Peckinpah wielded a heavy hand, firing 36 individuals in the span of 36 shooting days. A car, always present on location, served the sole purpose of transporting these dismissed crew members to the Las Vegas airport. This behind-the-scenes upheaval underscored the challenges faced during the production of what would become a unique cinematic work. Despite the chaos, Peckinpah's determination prevailed. Stella Stevens, a constant amidst the turmoil, emerged as Peckinpah's unwavering choice for the role of Hildy. Despite clashes over financial matters and billing disputes with producers, Stevens held her ground. Interestingly, executive producer Phil Feldman considered Joanne Woodward as a potential replacement, only to be deterred by her financial demands. In the end, Stevens secured the role, adding another layer to the film's complex journey. This turbulent backdrop sets the stage for The Ballad of Cable Hog, a 1970 creation that faced setbacks but ultimately left an indelible mark on cinema. The firing spree, coupled with casting decisions, offers a glimpse into the challenges and dynamics that shaped the film's narrative. Hackenpa's resilience in the face of adversity laid the groundwork for a movie that defied expectations and stands as a testament to the unpredictable nature of the industry. As we bid adieu to the dusty trails and sun-soaked landscapes of the Ballad of Cable Hog, let the echoes of its heartfelt melodies linger in the recesses of your cinematic soul. This cinematic gem from yesteryear, a tapestry woven with threads of humor, resilience, and untamed spirit, beckons you to ponder the vast expanse of your own journey. Did Cable's quest for water and salvation resonate with the echoes of your own thirst for meaning and connection? As the credits roll, take a moment to sift through the sands of your memories and share the fragments that mirror the essence of this timeless tale. Whether it's a chuckle sparked by Cable's quirky escapades or a pang of recognition in the vastness of the desert mirroring the landscapes of your own life, your reflections are the tributaries that feed the river of shared human experience. So, dear reader, unlock the chest of your thoughts and reveal the treasures hidden within. Let the discourse flow like a cool sip of water in the scorching desert. Host your musings, anecdotes, or simply the emotions stirred by Cable's odyssey. For in these shared stories, we discover the universal chord that resonates across time and space. Thank you for journeying through the sands of nostalgia with us, delving into the mystique of the Ballad of Cable Hawk. Your presence and reflections enrich the tapestry of our collective cinematic voyage. Until we meet again on the shores of shared stories, may your days be filled with the warmth of connection and the cool breeze of cinematic reverie.